Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how to send automated WhatsApp message for Google Calendar events. Suppose you want that whenever you will create a new Google Calendar events and you will add your guest in that, you want to send automated WhatsApp message to that same guest informing about the details of the event. So how we are going to automate this entire process? For this, we will have to integrate all these applications and that we are going to do with the help of an amazing automation and integration software Pabli Connect. Now here we have Google Calendar in our trigger through which we are going to create new event. Then we have Google contacts in our action through which we are going to fetch out the details of the contact. And then we have Vati through which we are going to send WhatsApp template message. Now here we are going to connect all these applications by using Pabli Connect in order to automate this entire process. And to learn this entire automation step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn that how can we automatically send WhatsApp message for Google Calendar events. Now, now let's say I want that whenever I will create a new event and add the guest in that particular event, I want to send automated WhatsApp message to that same guest informing about the event details. And for sending the WhatsApp template message here, I'm going to use Wati. Wati has the official API access of WhatsApp. If you want, you can also use any other application in place of Wati, let's say, such as Interact or AI Sensei. Now, in order to create this automation, we are going to integrate our Google Calendar with Wati and that we are going to do with the help of an amazing automation and integration software Pabli Connect. So this is the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach directly by typing pabli.com slash connect this URL in our browser. Once we will reach on this home page, we can find two options over here, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, you can directly click on sign in. But if you are a new user, you have to click on sign up for free button to create your free new account. And also when you will create your account, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now, as an existing user, I'm directly clicking on sign in. This is the all app section of Pabli where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect where we can find all of our workflows. And we can also create folders over here in order to save our workflows. So as you can find, I have two folders here. In this test integrations folder, I have saved a lot of workflows. In the same manner, by creating multiple folders, you can save your workflows accordingly on the dashboard. Now, to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option. So let's do that. And here a dialog box will appear in front of us. So it is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, let us provide a name over here. Send WhatsApp message for Google Calendar events. Now, now, after giving the name, we can also select the folder in which we want to save our work. So from the drop down, I'm going to select this test integrations folder. And now we are going to click on create. As we do that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us, trigger and action. The trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Now let's say here we are going to take Google Calendar in our trigger and Vati through which we want to send WhatsApp template message in our action. And we want that as soon as a new event will be created in Google Calendar and the guest will be added in that event, automatically a WhatsApp message should be sent through Vati to that that guest on his or her number. So here we can find that our action is a response towards our trigger. Okay, so after understanding the concept of trigger and action, let's start creating this workflow step by step. First of all, we will select our trigger application that is Google Calendar. So let's select Google Calendar. And now we have to select the trigger event. Now what is trigger event? Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to start. So here we are going to select new event as our trigger event. As we want that whenever a new event will be created in our Google Calendar, the response should be captured here in Pabli Connect and the workflow should get start. Let's click on connect. And here I'm going to select add new connection to build a new connection with my Google Calendar account. We'll click on sign in with Google and we'll select the account. Now Pabli Connect is asking us for the permission to access our Google Calendar account as it is 100% safe. So let's click on allow. And our authorization has become successful. So since I was already logged into my Google Calendar account, the authorization has become successful very easily and now it is connected with Pabli Connect. And here we have to select the calendar name in which we want to create events. So I have multiple calendars over here. I want to create a new event in this demo events calendar. Okay, so we will move further here. After selecting the calendar name, we will have to click on save and send test request to receive the response. But before that, because Google Calendar is based on polling of 10 minutes, therefore first we will have to create an event in our Google Calendar and then we have to click on save and send test request to capture the new response. So first of all, let's create the event over here. Let's click on create button and we will select event to create a new event. Let's say my new event is urgent team meeting. The date is Friday, December 8th. 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Okay, done. The next thing which we are going to do is we are going to add a guest over here. So I have added a demo guest over here. Okay, now after adding the guest, let's click on save. 
So we have created a new event over here and we have also added a guest in that event. So now we will go back towards our Pabli Connect account and we will click on save and send test request. And here we have received the response and in the response we have received all the details of the event. The name of the event is urgent team meeting, the status is confirmed, the time zone and other details. Okay. Now here our next motive is to send automated WhatsApp message to the guest of our event. But before that first we will have to get the details of that same guest, especially the mobile number on which we have to send the WhatsApp message. So in order to do that we are going to add one more action step and that will be searching the contact in our Google contacts. So you have to keep in mind whomsoever you are adding as a guest in your events in Google Calendar, the person should be added as a contact in your Google contact so that you could fetch out the details. Okay, so here in the action application, I'm going to select Google contacts. And in the action event, we will select search contact. Okay, click on connect. And now we are going to go with the add new connection to build a new connection with our Google contacts account. And again, we will select the account, we will click on allow. And our authorization has become successful. So now here we have to search our contact with the value. So with what value you want to search your contact? We have already received the email of our guest from our earlier response that is from our Google Calendar response. So we are going to simply map the data over here. Now what is mapping? Mapping is inserting the data from our previous step. We can see our previous step is here. We will select that and here are all the details. So whatever data we want, we can simply search it over here. Here I want email of my guest. This is the email and I have selected it and it is mapped. Now because we have map this data it is going to be replaced with each and every response that means whenever a new event will be created in our google calendar account and the response of that event will be captured here automatically this attendees email is going to be replaced but in case if we will enter it manually then it will become static and it is not going to change with each and every response therefore in order to automate the entire process we use mapping here okay Let's click on save and send test request to check whether we have received the response or not. And here are all the details of this person. So this is, so the name is demo guest, first name, last name, the contact number is also given over here and the other details. So, so our work is done. Okay. So now by using this number, we are going to send WhatsApp message to the guest. Okay. And now this time, because I want to send WhatsApp template message through Wati, I am going to select Wati over here as my action application. And after that, we will select the action event as send template message. We'll click on connect. And now from the given options, I'm going to go with add new connection to build a new connection with my Wati account. And here we have to enter two details, API endpoint and access token. Now from where we are going to find both the details for that, we have to go towards our Wati account and then we have to go towards API docs. And then we will find both the details. So let me take you towards my Wati account. And now we have to go towards API docs. And here we can find both the details are given. So first of all, let us copy the API endpoint and we will paste it over here. And the next is access token. So let us copy the access token also and quickly we will paste it over here. Done. Let's click on save. And with this, our Vati account is successfully connected. So after building the connection here, we have to enter the details in these fields in order to send the WhatsApp template message. First of all, it is asking us for the WhatsApp number on which we want to send the message. We have already received the number from our earlier response. So we are going to simply map this number over here. Here is the contact number. Here is the phone number. Let's map it and done. Okay, now because we have mapped this, it is going to be replaced with each and every response. The next is the template name. Now, in order to understand that, let me take you towards my Wati account and we will go towards template section. And here, this is the template which I have created for sending the WhatsApp message for my Google Calendar events. So let me open it and show you. So the name of the template is Google Calendar Events. The, the category which I have selected is Utility and the language is English. Okay, if you want, you can also select any other language over here. In the broadcast title, I have used new event as my title, which is shown in bold. Okay, so whatever you are going to select in your broadcast title is going to be shown in the header of your message in bold. If you want, you can also attach a particular image along with this message if you will select broadcast title type as image. The next is the body of the message. So this is the body of my message. Hello name, this is to inform you that a new event is scheduled the details are event name, date, time. Please join on time. Regards. I have used variables so that I could customize this message. So wherever in the message we use variables, the details of that place are going to be replaced with each and every response. Okay. So in the same manner, you can add variables as you want in your message to, to customize it. Okay. Now here after completing the content, we also have to provide the sample content for the variables which we have used. As you can find, I have used four variables over here, name, event, date, and time. For all of them, I have also provided sample content. In the name, I have provided a dummy name, event, date, and time. So in the place of sample content, you have to provide the values which we are, which you are going to use in place of the variables. Okay. Now when you will create your template, you also have to send it for approval and once it will get approved, you can definitely use it in order to send multiple WhatsApp messages to multiple people. As my template is approved over here, I'm going to use it in order to send the WhatsApp messages and the template name is selected correct over here as Google Calendar Events. Okay. 
the next thing which we have to enter is the broadcast name we have to enter the broadcast title which we have used in this field so so my broadcast title is new event i'm going to enter the same over we have to enter the exact broadcast name new event okay done the next and the most important thing in this workflow is custom parameters here in this field we have to enter the values which we want to use for our variables and that too in the correct format we have to use the same format the key and value pairs we will simply copy it and we will enter it here so whatever values so whatever variables you have used you have to provide the name of the variable and then you have to provide the value which you want to use in place of that variable okay now my first variable is for name so in the place of name i'm simply going to enter name only and then in the place of value, I'm going to enter. So what is the value for name? We are simply going to map the name which we have received from our Google contacts. Okay. So here I'm going to search for the name. The name is given over here as demo. So I have selected that. Okay. My next variable is for event. So again, we will use a comma, a space, and I'm going to paste the format. The next variable is for event. So we have to provide the name of the variable as event. And now in the place of value, I'm going to enter the name of the event that is urgent team meeting done again the third variable is for the date so we are going to map the date over here so once again i'm going to copy and paste the format and i'm going to enter date over here and in the place of date we are simply going to map the date so the date is given as this 8 12 2023 if you want you can also change the format of the date by using date time formatter and you can change the format according to your choice the next variable which i have used is time use a comma space and then i'm going to paste the and then i'm going to paste the format and i'm going to make the changes over here time i'm going to map the time let's click on save and send test request and here we have received the response along with the response we have also received the id and because we have received this id that means the whatsapp message has been sent on the number which we have mapped so let's go and check there on whatsapp and here we can find that yes we have received the message on the number which we have mapped new event hello demo the name is also given over here this is to inform you that a new event is scheduled the details are event name date time please join on time regards okay so this means that our workflow is perfectly successful okay so let's go back towards family connect and we will summarize what we have done here in this workflow so we have taken only three simple steps over here trigger and two actions in trigger we have taken google calendar and in actions we have taken google contacts and wati and we have connected all of them by using pably connect in such a way that now whenever a new event will be created in our google calendar and the guest will be added in that same event automatically the response will be captured here and first the details of the guest will be fetched out by using google contacts and by using that same response a whatsapp message will be sent to that same guest along with all the details of the event I have used Wati over here in order to send WhatsApp template messages. If you want, you can definitely use any other application also, let, such as Interact or AI Sensei. And with this, by following the same steps, you can very easily create this automation. And this is going to help you to automatically send WhatsApp messages to your guest for your Google Calendar events. So this was it in this video. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you. Not only these applications, but you can integrate many other applications by using Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can directly reach out to us at support at the red If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you want to ask any pricing related issue, then you can directly reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful in any way, do not forget it to share it with your friends. And also, please like our videos and subscribe our channel to learn more such automations.